Welcome to CodeSnippet.java. In this video, we are going to have a quick round of introduction of Java programming language. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show and let's get started. So we all know that Java is an object oriented programming language. But the question arises that, okay, there are so many object oriented language, why we need to learn Java only? Java is one of the top three most popular programming languages, first of all and it's extremely flexible it's platform independent you can run it on any operating system be it windows mac linux anything right java is widely used so every other organization is building their projects in java only as java provides a framework support it has excellent frameworks such as spring spring boot which will make your web development backend development very easy and most of the organizations are using Java and their big tech projects are in Java only. There are a lot of job opportunities available in market as well for experienced Java developer and freshers as well. So let's have a look how Java works under the hood. The Java code that we write is a high level language, right? So this is something that a human understands, right? So for example, we write classes, main methods, print statements and everything and that has dot java extension right now this java code is not understandable by machine right it needs to be converted to low level language in order to make it understand to a machine right at the end we want to run this code on computer right so we want to make it understandable by the machine so how do we do that we compile the code and we transform the source code into machine code right once that is done we will get a string of binaries so zeros and ones so this java code needs to be converted to object code right and how we are going to do that so there is something called as compiler in java which converts this java code to byte code you might have seen that after you compile java code you will get some class file created which has dot class extension right once we have that class file there is something called as jvm which runs that class files and it will execute your java code on the machine right this is the job of jvm so jvm is basically a java virtual machine so it has a big architecture and there are many components inside jvm jvm architecture i am going to cover in the next video so stay tuned for that if you like the video do subscribe and hit the like button